Let's consider one bass recursion. We start with a mixture posterior. We get a predicted mixture with the same number of hypotheses. And then we have an updated mixture posterior, where for each predicted hypothesis, we get several new hypotheses due to the data association. The number of hypotheses in the posterior density increases very rapidly. And we need some form of approximation to achieve computationally tractable tracking algorithms. One idea is that we try to find a subset of data associations, call it capital theta tilde, such that this subset contains a lot fewer data associations, and such that each association in this subset has a large weight. One way to figure out which subset of data associations have large weights is to compute the weight for every possible data association. Now, doing so, we would like to avoid computing all possible data associations, because doing that would have a much too high computational cost. A solution to this is to pose this as an optimization problem, specifically an assignment problem. And we can explain what an assignment problem is by using an example. Let's say that we have three workers and three tasks and we need the workers to solve these tasks. The cost for each worker and each task is given by this table. So the cost for the first worker and the first task is five, the first worker and the second task is eight, and so on. Some properties of this problem is that each worker can only solve one task at a time, and each task can only be solved by one worker. The assignment problem is to assign workers to tasks, such that each worker has something to do and each task is performed and the total cost is as low as possible. Equivalently, we could assign tasks to workers instead. And this assignment problem would have the same optimal assignment. In other words, the same assignment would have the lowest cost. So we can have a look at some example assignments. If we assign worker one to task one, worker two to task two, and worker three to task three, then the cost of the assignment is five plus 12 plus five, which is equal to 22. Another possible assignment is that worker one solves task three, worker two solves task one, and worker three solves task two. And this assignment has cost 23. And a third assignment is that worker one solves task two, worker two solves task three, and worker three, task one. And this assignment has cost 19. Now, for this very small problem, there are so few alternative assignments that we can go through all of them and figure out what the corresponding cost is. And if we do so, it turns out that for this example, the optimal assignment is the one we just had a look at when the cost is 19. So this means that we could not assign the workers and the tasks in a different way and have a lower cost. A way to mathematically describe this assignment problem is to use a cost matrix and an assignment matrix. The cost matrix L has elements where row I in column J is the cost of assigning worker I to task J. So in the example with three workers and three tasks, the cost matrix was given in the table before. The assignment matrix A has elements on row I and column J equal to one if worker I is assigned to task J and is equal to zero otherwise. For example, if we assign worker one to task two, worker two to task three, and worker three to task one, we get the following assignment matrix. And it's easy to verify that the elements equal to one indicate these assignments. Using this cost matrix and this assignment matrix, the cost of the assignment can be expressed as shown here by the trace of the assignment matrix transposed multiplied by the cost matrix. And this is equivalent to taking the sum over all workers, the sum over all tasks, and if the worker is assigned to the task, then we add the corresponding cost to the total cost. So let's consider the same example assignments again. For the first assignment that we considered, we get the assignment matrix shown here, and the cost becomes 22, just like before. For the second assignment, we get this assignment matrix, and the cost is 23. And for the third assignment, we get this assignment matrix, 
and it's straightforward to verify that the cost for this assignment matrix is 19. Having introduced the cost matrix and the assignment matrix, we can give a mathematical definition to the optimal assignment problem. Given a cost matrix L, we seek the solution A star to the following constrained minimization problem. We wish to minimize with respect to A the cost, which is trace of A transposed L. The first constraint is that a worker and task are either assigned or not. And this means that each element in the assignment matrix is either zero or one. The second constraint is that each worker is assigned to exactly one task. For the assignment matrix, this means that if we take a sum over the columns, for each row, this sum must be equal to one. And the third constraint is that each task must be assigned to exactly one worker. And for the assignment matrix, this means that if we take a sum over the rows, then for each column, this sum must be equal to one. We can see data association as an assignment problem. We have objects instead of workers, we have detections instead of tasks, and we wish to assign objects to detections, or equivalently, detections to objects. So what we will learn next is what the object tracking assignment matrix A is with constraints, what the object tracking cost matrix L is, and we will also learn a little bit about some standard solvers.